everybody, this is Randy Santel, Atlas with FoodChallenges.com. We're here today to show you guys how to win an ice cream challenge. We are in Ferguson, Missouri of St. Louis at Whistle Stop Depot taking on their train wreck challenge. It's a 13 scoop ice cream sundae of frozen yogurt. I had my options and we'll talk about those in a minute, but along with the 13 scoops of ice cream, you've got to uh, take down one pound or 16 ounces of sauce and then 16 more ounces of an actual topping, just like you would have in a concrete or anything like that. For my options, I chose what I thought would be the least sugary, the easiest to go down for sauces, so I went with hot fudge. I've done Hershey's chocolate before in a previous challenge, way too much sugar. And for the topping, I went with strawberries. I went with a fruit because that's gonna sit a lot easier in my stomach than say cookie dough or brownies or peanut butter, uh, butter fingers or anything like that. Also, I went with 10 scoops of vanilla frozen custard and then three scoops of chocolate. Now, with ice cream challenges, it all kind of depends on the restaurant you're going to. Some restaurants, they say, here's 16, this is all of our flavors that we have here. You've got to eat one scoop of each type of ice cream. Others, they may have your pick. If you have your pick, you want to, you don't want to vary too much. Like I've got chocolate and vanilla. You don't want to vary a whole lot and get rich flavors and uh, like brownie batter or anything like that. Because after a while, all of those flavors are going to be sitting in your stomach mixing around and you are liable to get sick. Now to help me digest all of this lactose and all of this ice cream, I take digestive enzymes and you may want to too if your stomach's not able to, if you don't think you're able to take down all of this. But we're gonna get started, but the main thing to remember for ice cream challenges is don't vary too much if you have options. Try to stick with the lightest, the least sugary that you can eat a lot of, which is why I went with strawberries and then the hot fudge, because it's already, as you can see a little bit, it's starting to uh, firm up a little bit. Also, to restrict brain freeze, to help with that, we've got warm water. So that's what I'm gonna be drinking with this massive sundae. But time limit wise, I've gotta shut up and eat. I've only got 30 minutes to finish this. Just did my ritual. I've already thought about when before you begin. My stomach is ready. I know I can fit all this in. I've strategized, which I'm gonna show you while I'm eating, how to win an ice cream challenge. And what are we gonna do? We're gonna dominate. So let's get this thing started. Got my warm water, already took my enzymes. Got my big, big spoon ready to take down all this ice cream so that I can fit as much in my mouth as I can. So let's get it started. We only got a half hour. One, two, three. All right, pretty much you just gotta take it from the top. So what we're gonna do here, see all my chocolate sauce and ice cream, all of it while we were taking pictures and stuff already started melting, so let's get the top off first. If you've got a challenge where you're required to eat brownies with it or cookies or anything like that, you want to save those for later on because they're going to help you with the flavor. If you're eating a bunch of scoops of ice cream or something like that, you're going to want to have something a little bit later on that's more firm, like a cookie or brownie, to eat later to help your palate, the texture of it, will help you be able to continue eating. So, as you can see, I'm using this to keep my mouth from getting really cold because obviously this ice cream is cold and the hot fudge is helping too. So because it's frozen custard, it's already melting. Uh, you know an ice cream is really fatty if it's not melting very quickly, it's very quality. Now this is frozen custard, so it's melting, which is making it a lot easier to go down.
as you can see here, a lot of the flavors and a lot of the ice cream is already melting, so it's making it really, really easy. So I'm trying to get a lot of that down. Eventually I'm gonna drink it, but I'm getting it all down with my big spoon while the rest is melting. So it's going down pretty easy. We still got a lot of time left. Now that we're starting to get towards the end, we're just mashing it up into one big soup-like thing so that we can get it down easier and get that W. One thing to note, you've only seen me drinking warm water. It's up to you, but another option you could go with, some people like and prefer uh, just hot black coffee to go with the ice cream to warm up your mouth with all this intense coldness coming down it. Chase it with black coffee, or like me, just stick with the warm water. But let's get the rest of this down. We're still less than 12 minutes in. Leave no doubt, get the last, last bit. 12 minutes and 43 seconds, that's the official time. Great, great ice cream challenge. Now for you, when you are doing your ice cream challenge, remember all the main topics. Take your digestive enzymes if you need to beforehand. Make sure your stomach is ready beforehand. Stick with simple toppings. I went with fruits. Stick with simple options if you can. With the ice cream, you just want basics with vanilla and chocolate. And chase it with uh, warm water or black coffee. Thanks for watching. That was How to Win an Ice Cream Challenge. Until my next video, this is Randy Santel, Atlas with foodchallenges.com, teaching people how to win food challenges all over the world.